all saving being done in the earth today is being done by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is Holy God Ghost in the earth today, the and you walk with him by today. saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrot. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe down below. And if it's not your first time here and you're being blessed by this message, then consider becoming a partner with us. And we know that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. He's the one part of the Godhead that's in the earth today. He's the one that Jesus sent from the right hand of the Father. The Holy Ghost is God he is a person and he the Holy Ghost is with us in the earth in our day and age mm -hmm. it's the Holy Ghost dispensation Isaiah chapter 43 verse 11 I even I am the Lord and besides me there is no Savior and I'm gonna be talking quite a bit about this so hold on seeing the Holy Ghost for who he is okay. Psalms chapter 118 and verse 14 the Lord is my strength and song and is become my salvation before it said there's no Savior besides me here it says the Lord has become my salvation mm -hmm. Psalms 85 verse 9 surely his salvation is nigh or is near say is near yeah. is near to them that fear him what do we know about fear and fearing of the Lord it's worshiping the Lord in fact that word is translated worship many other times mm -hmm. so here it says salvation is is close to you it's near you it's close it's close when you worship him mm -hmm. right the other verse of scripture says he has become my salvation who the one you're worshiping has become your salvation now salvation doesn't just mean die and go to heaven which we've heard preached all the time but salvation literally means to be delivered from whatever situation you're in mm -hmm. it could be a financial situation it could be a sickness that you need to be delivered from salvation is near you if you're worshiping God so it gets closer to you say it gets closer to me, it gets closer to me. what does the healing gets closer to you the deliverance gets closer to you as you're worshiping God and of course we're gonna be talking about the Holy Ghost I make no pretenses my job is to bring you into the worship of the Holy Ghost in fact he said that to me get them to worship me Amen. worship who worship God God who God the Holy Ghost in the worship of God the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today is everything if you say that you know the Spirit of God and you don't worship him as God you don't know him if you say you know the Spirit of God because a lot of people would say that oh, I know the Spirit of God but they don't worship him as God you don't really know him because the more you know him as God you will begin worshiping him as God Because right. people say oh yes the Holy Spirit is God prove it worship him open your mouth and say I worship you Holy Ghost oh no no I would never do that and you don't know him as God you have a pretense of knowing him as God if you don't know him as God if you knew him as God then you would worship him as God he said I am the Lord there is no Savior but me he's God in the earth today if you get saved in any capacity it will be by the operation of him let him see you worshiping him I'm telling you when you start to worship him he will look at you and remember he's got all of these things of salvation with him mm -hmm. and when he starts to look at you he's gonna look at you in your situation let him see you worshiping him that alone will set many things in motion in your life and set many things in order say when I worship him, I worship him. it sets, it sets many, things many things in order because he, he's the teacher he's the helper he does all of these things that's why I read three of those verses of Scripture that say God is the Savior when you worship him the Holy Ghost as God he looks at you but not only does he look at you when somebody's looking at you there's a line of sight isn't there mm -hmm. which means you can look back and start to see him for who he is 
and not only who he is but what he had if he looks at you does he see what you have mm -hmm. he's looking at you he sees all your situation he sees what you have when you look at him you start to see him for who he is mm -hmm. and what he has yeah. does he have salvation mm -hmm. does he have power to deliver you that's salvation well when he looks at you he begins to do things to you and for you all could be encompassed in that word salvation right Holy Ghost is looking at you and doing things say doing things, doing things. he's doing things to you and for you he's changing you and he does things around you to change your situation could the Holy Spirit save you from something so is it wrong for me as calling him as God our Savior no because the Bible specifically calls him that over and over mm -hmm. but we've been religiously blinded so that that one word Savior has to only apply to Jesus you understand who's seated in heaven mm -hmm. our present day say present day. present day what day is that today. that's today and what day are we in we're in the day of the Holy Ghost we're in the we're in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost he is God in the earth today is present tense present day our present day Savior is the Holy Ghost and that pleases him when you say it about him it pleases him it pleases Jesus Jesus is the one who sent him into the earth Amen. to be with you for what to save you and we're not just talking about dying and going to heaven I can take you to scriptures that show you that you can't even confess the Lordship of Jesus without the operation of the Holy Ghost That's right. well if you can't do that without the Holy Ghost then the Holy Ghost is the one giving you the power to do it That's right. our present-day Savior is the Holy Ghost now you understand I'm, I'm saying things this way because I'm trying to get you to realize where you've got some religious issues you see this our present day Savior is the Holy Ghost all saving being done in the earth today is being done by the Holy Ghost is it being done by Jesus no Jesus sat down he's not doing anything anymore so if anybody's getting saved they're getting saved based on the work of the Holy Ghost and operation of the Holy Ghost in their life and then we'll come into a relationship with the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today all saving is being done today that is being done today is being done by the Holy Ghost and him only mm -hmm. say the Holy Ghost only the Holy Ghost only yes you believe on Jesus you have to believe on what Jesus already fulfilled and did you believe on the finished work of Jesus but he is not doing anything in this day and age in the earth all saving work is done by the Holy Ghost including healing delivering prospering making you a success it's all Holy Ghost Jesus has legally saved you 2,000 years ago you were legally bought and paid for saved right yeah. 2,000 years ago but it is the Holy Ghost who is our Savior Jesus has legally saved you but it is the Holy Ghost who is the one doing the saving he is our Savior Jesus is not your Savior in the active sense he's not actively saving anybody Jesus is not your Savior in the active sense he is the Savior in that he did what he had to do and sat down so he has the name of being the Savior mm -hmm. he legally did it finished that work sat down but if you're being saved today actively is our Savior would be the Holy Ghost so the Holy Ghost he as a person is say he is is, is our present day Savior acting on all of the things that Jesus provided for you who's the one doing the saving the Holy Ghost. Jesus no Jesus did all he was ever gonna do and sat down now the Holy Ghost is in the earth so if someone is actively being saved it is done by the person of the Holy Ghost all right 
so all things that are being done today in the earth are by and through the Holy Ghost first Corinthians chapter 12 verse 11 but all these worketh that one and the self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he will it's his will it's his plan he's doing it he's bringing it to pass if it's done at all in the earth it is done by that one and self same spirit verse 6 there are diversities of operations but it's the same God which works all in all what God is the same God working all in all the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Uh, verse 3 wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus accursed and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. it's the same God working that part of salvation mm -hmm. who's the Savior in our day the Holy Ghost God is our Savior now a lot of people might might not not have an issue with me saying that God is our Savior if they can somehow wrap their mind around putting it in in the right context but when I say the Holy Ghost is our Savior in the earth today it's just it's like one step too far for them mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today he is in the active sense our Savior and everything that he does in the earth today is done by him mm -hmm. not taking anything away from what Jesus did it's actually fulfilling and the more and closer we can walk with him the more of the results of salvation we will see if it's in the earth and it's done by God it was the Holy Ghost somebody gets saved somebody gets born again who do you get born again by operation of the Holy Ghost are you getting this well this is important because you need to know who you are and where you're at and what age you're in most people don't first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you which you have of God you are not your own what's not your own your body is not your own can you understand that because you're not the only one living in there who's living in there Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost for you are bought with a price therefore glorify praise honor worship magnify God in your body who's the God that's in your body the Holy Ghost you're to praise honor glorify God the Holy Ghost in your body and I've said this before well is your mouth part of your body yeah so you should be praising honor honoring and glorifying the Holy Ghost with your mouth mm -hmm. glorify God the Holy Ghost in your body and in your spirit which are God's God who God the Holy Ghost that is in your body mm -hmm. so who does your body belong to the Holy, the Holy Ghost so you could say he owns you mm -hmm. so who do you serve who should you serve the him the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today who is God in your body who you're supposed to honor and glorify Luke chapter 4 let's look right down to verse 8 and Jesus answered and said unto him get thee behind me Satan for it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve who's the God that's in you the Holy, the Holy Ghost who are you supposed to serve because he owns you the Holy Ghost am I making this clear enough here Jesus said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God well what should a temple do you're the temple of God you should be for the worship of the God that's in you does this make sense you shall worship the Lord your God and him only so where should my worship be mostly I'll say mostly because people are gonna have an issue with this mostly towards would be towards the Holy Ghost who is the God that's in you is this making sense yes. thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shall you serve who said this Jesus said it by the Holy Ghost yes. we're serving him now that word only I'll just bring it out here is the Greek word mono but it specifically means alone singular just that one now think about it 
who's just the one that is in the earth today that's in your body the Holy Ghost and here it says to worship the Lord your God and him mono him only mm -hmm. shall you serve why are you serving him why are you doing what he tells you to do why are you yielding to him why are you glorifying him and praising him and honoring him because he's the one that's in you this is why I say if people say they know the Spirit of God but they don't worship him as God they don't really know him but when you begin to worship the Holy Ghost as God it sets your heart in singleness towards him and you worship him and him only do you serve are you seeing this does that displease the father does that displease Jesus they sent him into the earth to be with you there isn't anything he won't do for you if you worship him mm -hmm. remember I said he looks at you and he brings all his stuff with him and he has the ability to do anything he's God he's in the earth he's God in the earth mm -hmm. and he's looking at you there isn't anything he won't do for you you think he wants his temple sick no. you think he wants his temple old and worn out no. does the Holy Ghost have the ability to renew youth is he gonna do that if you let him yes. yeah well when you worship him you become single with him can you see this I have preached on this many times where there's a lot of other messages where I've shown you how the Holy Ghost does things for you when you worship him it is literally his way of getting things over to you mm -hmm. worshiping him say worshiping him. worshiping him and then what's that look like it doesn't mean just putting on music it means to use the words part of your temple is your mouth and say I worship you Holy Ghost mm -hmm. I worship you Holy Ghost mm -hmm. there isn't anything he won't do for you if you will worship him mm -hmm. all shall be thine all what you say all of the things that he has the ability to do for you mm -hmm. will be yours oneness his stuff he moves in he starts taking over let him those things that I just said nothing he won't do for you all shall be thine mm -hmm. right I can take you to scripture after scripture where God's not holding back from you he's he's he wants to give you all these things yeah. right you shall not want but it begins to shed light on some of the lies of the devil and the lies that the devil has told people and they just bought it John 8 44 Jesus called the devil the father of lies John 10 10 says the thief comes not but for to steal, steal kill and destroy so he's he's trying to steal some truth from you that will eventually kill you and destroy you if he can mm -hmm. remember hold these things in, in your understanding we're talking about worshiping the Holy Ghost and all shall be thine and him having the ability to do things for you mm -hmm. you being his temple Luke chapter 4 verse 7 this is the devil talking to Jesus if thou wilt worship me all shall be thine was that true no, no it was a lie and Jesus wasn't buying it exactly. a lot of religious people bought that mm -hmm. and they're still buying it today mm -hmm. I mean Hollywood buys that you know if you worship the you give your soul to the devil what'll happen oh he'll give you all these things it's an outright lie let's read up a little farther here Luke 4 verse 5 and the devil taking him Jesus up into a high mountain showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time and the devil said unto him all this power will I give thee and the glory of them for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will give it if thou wilt worship me all shall be thine remember the context all the kingdoms all the glory all the power of it mm -hmm. Jesus responded to that by saying get thee behind me Satan for it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve mm -hmm. why would Jesus say that in the context of what the devil was showing him because it's through worship that you get all of those things that the devil was saying that he would do for him are you here mm -hmm. the devil's trying to steal by ascribing to himself 
the thing that God has and has the ability to give to people I hate to burst your religious bubble but the devil isn't the God of the world like we've all been taught the devil is not the God of the world like he's telling everybody he is he's not the all-powerful devil in possession of all this stuff who is all-powerful the Holy Ghost God in the earth today this is why it matters so much if the Holy Ghost God in the earth today is all-powerful God mm -hmm. then the devil isn't can you follow me here yeah. so the devil saying I'll give you all of this stuff in the glory in the kingdoms Jesus didn't buy it for a second he said you shall worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve if I want all that stuff are you here yeah. mm -hmm. Psalms 86 verse 8 among the gods there's none like unto thee O Lord neither are there any works like unto thy works verse 9 all nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee O Lord and shall glorify thy name for thou art great and dost wondrous things thou art God alone did you see that mm -hmm. who's God alone the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today that means the devil isn't Psalms 24 verse 1 the earth is the devil's and now all the stuff in it he'll give to whoever he pleases is that what it says yeah. the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof what does that mean the fullness of everything in it the world say the world, the world and they that dwell therein who would that be the people the creatures everything the earth is the Lord's he is God yeah. do you understand that which means if this verse of Scripture is too true what the devil was saying about himself was not true it was a lie that's why Jesus said get thee behind me you shall worship the Lord your God if I worship the Lord my God it does he have the capability of giving me the earth and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell therein mm -hmm. yes he has the cap capability to do that if he didn't own it he wouldn't be capable of doing that mm -hmm. so if I worship the Lord he would be able to give me the kingdoms of the earth the glory thereof Jesus wasn't tripped up by the devil and his and his lies are you getting this but we were and we were taught this for years and years and years success is of the devil isn't this fun the devil as God of this world quotes right God of this world the way he would like you to think about it the devil as God of this world is a lie it's religious it's what religious people in Hollywood all have bought into mm -hmm. Jesus wasn't buying it Satan is not the God of this world or this earth and I just took you to a scripture that says meaning the world and they that dwell therein oh he wishes he was and he tries to act like it and if people believe him then what happens to them they get deceived lied to steals from them kills them and destroys them you watch people get upset and angry that I'm saying things like this because they want to defend the devil and is like God in the earth today my message is the fact that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and there is only one God in the earth today mm -hmm. and he's a savior in the earth today which savior which means to deliver from mm -hmm. who would he be delivering you from the devil he means you got to understand the devil's not God in the earth today second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 3 but if our gospel be hid it is hid to them that are lost it's hid see that mm -hmm. verse 4 in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not their eyes have become blinded how did those eyes become blinded follow me here now their only reason they think that he's the God of this world is because their eyes have been blinded when their eyes are unblinded or light shines into them they see mm -hmm. the truth 
that he is not God right yes. are you seeing this the world has made him the devil God and blinded their eyes have become mm -hmm. they bought the lie he sold them same lie he tried to get a push over on Jesus right. they bought the lie and blinded their eyes have become mm -hmm. and they now think that he's the God of this world that's that's what this is talking about <sighs> see if I can help you here the God of this world who's he the God of blinded people that are deceived now he Jesus could have went down that road and worshiped the devil then the devil would have been the God mm -hmm. of Jesus are you here there are false gods mm -hmm. he was trying to act like God he was lying to Jesus that he had all this power mm -hmm. so he's only God over blinded people who think he's God because they're deceived Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world who is if he is God at all who's he's a, who is he a God over the darkness so he's not God of this world in the sense that we've kind of bought into he's God in the world so he's the ruler of the darkness of this world he's only ruler in the darkness meaning people's eyes are blinded so that they think that he has power over them he is not the God of my world say that he is not, he is not the God, God of my world and he's certainly not the God of the earth he's not a God at all he's a fallen angel who's deceiving people mm -hmm. and the people that he's deceived think he's God yes. because they're deceived he's the ruler of the darkness people that are in darkness mm -hmm. you seeing this but Ephesians 5 8 says we are light in the Lord walk as children of light which means we're not even in that kingdom anymore he has no control or authority over us mm -hmm. John 14 30 says the prince of the world comes Jesus was talking about it says the prince of the world comes but he has nothing in me had no control over him couldn't do anything are you getting this so it's a deception did I get that across yes. it's just it's one of those things that is so embedded in our religious thinking but he is not God he's only God deceptively in people's minds that are in darkness but he doesn't control the earth so it's deception to think that success is of the devil through worshiping him because success is something that the Holy Ghost has and will give you when you worship him true success true salvation true prosperity comes from worshiping God God who God the Holy Ghost the one that you are a temple of you know I hesitated to go down that road because I hate talking about the devil yeah. but you have to because so many people are deceived by him Psalm 75 verse 6 for promotion comes neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south but God is the judge he puts down one and sets up another who does God who's God the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost you mean the devil no, no can God promote you yes he does promote you it is part of the package of what you get when you worship him it comes on you say promotion, promotion comes, on comes on me when I worship him you see what the devil is trying to do to Jesus worship me and I'll give you all this stuff worship me and I'll promote you it was a lie it was a lie to get deception into Jesus because promotion comes from the true and living God who is the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today mm -hmm. welcome promotion deliverance healing youth renewal all of these things come by him if it's done in the earth today it's done by him the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today he is our present day Savior Jude verse 18 how that they told you there should be 
mockers in the last time what time are we in the last time we're in the last time we're i would argue we're in the last of the last time verse 19 these be they who separate themselves sensual having not the spirit what have they not spirit. what spirit are we talking about holy ghost. holy ghost he actually says holy ghost in in the very next verse but what i want you to see here is mockers there should be mockers in the last time the last day what are they mocking they separated themselves having not the spirit mm -hmm. so they're mocking people that have the spirit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the last day people that mock people that have the spirit that's what they're mocking but you beloved so he's talking to the people that have the spirit right you beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost would you say prayer is speaking to God mm -hmm. maybe asking God for help maybe asking God for healing maybe asking God for success you beloved building yourselves up or going forward in your most holy faith I'm advancing in my holy faith speaking to the Holy Ghost who is God who's in you in the earth today praying talking to communicating with the Holy Ghost our faith is a faith based on Jesus and the Father sending the Holy Ghost into the earth today how do we advance in that faith but by talking to praying to and walking with the Holy Ghost in with to verse 24 now unto him that is able to keep you from falling Amen. who's able to keep you from falling the Holy, the Holy Ghost we built ourselves up on our most holy faith walking with the Holy Ghost talking with the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. or you can say in the Holy Ghost in fact he's in you mm -hmm. now unto him that is able to keep you who's able to keep you if you're kept and you're in the earth it's because of an of, of an action by the Holy Ghost because he does everything in the earth today and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy mm -hmm. now I always put that off till heaven like we you know good Christians do all the time put everything off till heaven he's with you now he's able to keep you faultless and present you faultless before the presence of his glory what's the presence of his glory what does he have what's in his glory does he have youth renewal in his glory yes. does he have wealth in his glory yes. does he have deliverance in his glory yes. he's gonna present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy verse 25 to the only wise God our Savior to the only wise God our Savior who are we just talking about that was able to keep you faultless and present you before the presence of his glory the Holy Ghost. we're changed from glory to glory by him by the same Spirit mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost are you getting this yes. To the only wise God we just said the others would mock this message because they're not filled with the Spirit they don't know the Spirit as God they don't worship him as God they would mock worshiping him as God he the Holy Ghost is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory we're changed from glory to glory by the Spirit of the Lord he has glory he is glorious with exceeding joy the only wise God our Savior who is the only wise God our Savior that's in the earth today the Holy, the Holy Ghost and when you worship him you enter into the things that he has for you he changes you from glory to glory now to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty and dominion and power both now 
if it says now and now means now then the only one he could be talking about is the Holy Ghost because he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today yeah. are you here yeah. and this is worship look at this the only wise God are saying be glory we talked about glorifying God in your body majesty who the only wise God the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. Holy Ghost has glory Holy Ghost has majesty Holy Ghost has what's that word dominion but dominion like that's what the devil was saying to Jesus that he had he was gonna give him dominion. no 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 this is worship when you worship him his majesty and dominion and power come on you and through you what is the, what does he want to do in you and through you is manifest himself magnify himself both now and ever in John 14 16 said I will send another comforter who will be with you forever let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you for ministering to people here and online and I thank you for delivering us from the power of the devil and that you are the living Savior in the earth saving people healing people delivering people prospering people and we give you all the worship and the glory and the praise and the dominion and the power in Jesus name amen, amen. say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. You, are God you are God in the earth today the earth you, have you have all dominion, dominion power, power and majesty I thank you that this today. offering and tithe is blessed multiplied unto the ministry and multiplied unto me I am the head and not the tail above only and not the least I am blessed and the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it Jesus name amen